exactly happens in the brain, what makes us think, and to not understand this is like being in the dark. It's a very important part of my research to distinguish randomness from actual biology. We are comparing the genetic information from people with a disease with the genomes and the genetic information of people without the disease to find out which genes are indeed involved in psychiatric disease. This type of analysis, this analysis of big data, analyzing millions of data points of tens of thousands of individuals, this research that we are very successfully pursuing right now will help us finding new therapies for patients with these diseases. It is a great honor to receive this prize for schizophrenia research. Prize and awards like this are nice encouragements to continue working. We realize more and more and clearer and clearer that we are getting to more truth in schizophrenia. Since knowledge of the brain is relatively limited still nowadays, I think the ultimate reward is really being part of a movement that actually brought light to this disease. <laughs> by Dr. Patrick Sullivan. Uh, Dr. Rupke is a statistical analyst for the PGC that Dr. Sullivan founded and directs, which is working to pinpoint the genetics of schizophrenia and other psychiatric disorders. He performs the combined analysis of the new genetic data from PGC members, which involves some 100 data sets from research groups from many countries. He created a computer pipeline to standardize data compute missing values, perform the final analysis, and bring the results into a displayable format. Dr. Sullivan states, Dr. Ripka has been at the center of genomic discovery for schizophrenia since 2008. He designed, implemented, and manned the genomic analysis pipeline as the cornerstone of the efforts of the PGC. He has made multiple critical contributions to our knowledge of the genetic basis of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and autism. From 2008 until returning to his native Germany this past summer, Dr. Ripke was at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard University and Massachusetts General Hospital. He is continuing his association with PGC, the Charité Universitätsmedizin in Berlin, the oldest and most prominent hospital in the medical school in Berlin. Let's welcome to our I'm the last speaker, so I have a little bit more time. <laughs> so, uh, I gave numerous uh, scientific presentations in my career to numerous audiences. Usually, I am armed with a laser pointer. It's nice, colorful slides to distract from this awkward situation to only have my voice. <laughs> So yesterday was the first time for me actually speaking to an audience without these slides. And even worse, it was even without a warning. <laughs> um, my audience was very friendly, very kind. They told me I did a good job, though I, I've lived in the, US, in the US long enough that I know Americans are very friendly, very appreciative. So usually you do not really know how well, you actually did. That's <laughs> So, if you count it correctly, then you know this is here my second time without these slides. This time I got a warning. I got the warning, be funny. And uh, it works a little bit. Um, if, if you've seen, the, if you've seen uh, the presentation of David Braff, and he was even funnier, 
you know, last night, and you would understand that actually, um, I called his writers last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so six years ago, I, I started working in Boston, and I was a total nobody, and uh, I actually was myself a little bit um, not very confident in this analysis that we're doing. My words were proven totally wrong, we were very successful. And one interesting thing that I want to share with you, so a couple of weeks ago, I got this email from a colleague of mine who's actually sitting here in the audience who called me a superstar. <laughs> well, I think this, this, this word is definitely justified. <laughs> Though it's not me, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's my community, it's my family, it's my friends, and I'm very happy to have a couple of representatives of all three groups with me here today, even though I'm coming from another continent and many people are not joining me here, of course. Christine Bashar as a representative of my family, George and Mark, a representative of great friends here, and work colleagues Again, this is, these are the, the superstars here, the big group, the PGC, the Stanley Center, and here we have Pat Sullivan, Sean, Sean Purcell, Pamela Sklar, sorry that I did first, you guys. <laughs> Doug Rudolph, right? Eli Stahl, Cindy recently joined as well. So it's so great to have you all guys in here. I want to finish this with two things. First of all, it's clear that these huge projects that we are working in are not possible without the support of like the PBRF and especially you guys who are really a wonderful community in here. But I definitely want to finish my deepest thanks to actually to the patients. We collected 35,000 schizophrenia patient data to all these huge number of patients and also healthy controls who do, donated actually their genotypic information that we could work with this. This means a lot of trust from these and I'm so hopeful that we will be able to pay back eventually. Thank you very much.